What everybody runs into when they're working with software projects is that the first 90% of the project is really easy and then 90% of the work is in the last 10% and it's really hard to kind of cross that finish line. And the difference with Lincoln, it just works. Fred and I got along and we, we, we saw that we had a common vision for how to use technology. What he was trying to build was not only a technically challenging task, but a vision for how to impact people and how to change people's lives. And he was really frustrated. Was like, why can't anybody solve this in a way that's scalable, that's cost effective? That's when I brought in, you know, Hans and he, we basically developed a product strategy. We executed against that and we launched it. Um, I think what we're pretty good at is really finding out what the root problem is for a particular organization. What's an experience that we can give to them such that they don't ever have to think about technology and everything just kind of works. What was your first impression of them? Fred? Oh man, he is unbelievably reasonable. <laughs> like... The idea that students aren't learning anything is ridiculous. What we want to do is to empower teachers to be able to focus on the most important things. We take high quality content and we map it, we develop it, we sort of integrate it into the way students learn using multimedia. So we want to sort of shift how teachers teach to empower them to be better at achieving the goals that, that everyone wants for their students. And then we want to take that, we want to make that true everywhere and literally everywhere. And we think if we do that, uh, we can empower these billions of young people in Africa, in, in South Asia, or, or elsewhere, and you know, cities in the United States. So Fred has connections um, in Africa. We actually had conference calls with some of the organizations down there. We, we had to learn about like what was the infrastructure like? We had to learn like how were people using their phones? Or were they even using their phones? So we actually had to like break down some of the assumptions that we had. So are people using phones? Yes. Uh, is internet spotty and not consistent? Yes. Um, how are people using phones? So we did end up developing sort of like proprietary apps being able to condense the content, break it down to small little chunks, and then deliver the content to those phones to essentially like stream like books and textbooks and videos and images, all of that to people's devices, all without internet. We basically are really good at, at getting in there, looking at the key things to solve and developing the most cost-effective solution there. And the, but there, there's, there's a lot of you know, technology web dev shops out there. But what makes Lincoln different is that we fundamentally care about your mission. So we built this network so that we can actually have impacts. We like to call ourselves the CTO of the broader freedom movement. You know, we want Sertel to be the educator of the world. We're gonna go away from selling uh, potential to selling reality. We're no longer a startup, we're a maturing organization. We're no longer talking about how we're gonna be able to help you, we're talking about how we can help you. And Lincoln has made it possible for us to do that.